it's been a while. <laughs> Bet you thought you saw the last of me. <laughs> Anyways, I mean, as you can see, Queer Plus Team is back and we're ready for the attack. I don't know what I meant by that. <laughs> Tis I, Saturn. I am back and awkward as ever. And I'm gonna try to be positive while making this video, but yesterday was an awful day and I was extremely depressed. So, yay. It's been quite a while. So, me and all the other admins were just planning to do a little update on our lives, nothing extremely gay. I mean, if something extremely gay happened in our lives, yeah, sure, but we're not going to be really talking about specifically LGBT stuff. So, update on my life. Last time I made a video was, I don't know, during the summer, and now, oh look at the time, it's spooky month. I am so excited that it's October because, I don't know, it's just a good time of year because everyone's like, ooh, spooks, and... Halloween and it's already starting to feel chilly again. I love the fall. It's my favorite time of year and then candy of course I'm kind of upset because I don't have any plans for Halloween this year because I have no friends this year But it's whatever, you know, I'll still have candy either way So during the summer I was pretty hyped up for my senior year, which I'm doing right now it's going pretty well, except I hate English. <laughs> um, I don't like any people in the class because they're extremely racist, extremely homophobic and transphobic, and then there's just, bleh, I hate most of the people in the class. I have like three good friends in the class, but it's still not enough to get over the fucking racists and disgusting people, but not gonna get into that. Um, other than that, everything's going well, except I'm stressed out because I have to apply for college and stuff and, you know, become an adult very soon, and it's like coming faster than I thought it would be. I was just like, oh yeah, senior year's gonna be a breeze. It's stressful. But, you know, school's going good. Well, also things at school are going pretty okay because I've come out to some more people about being a demi boy and then they're just being super chill about it they're like hey you're a demi boy i eat i don't know how to use they them pronouns but i will try and i'm like that's all i need son that's all i need for people to try to get my gender right and um a lot of people that i haven't come out to already know my preferred name and it's kind of weird like i i don't know how they found out because I don't talk to them or any of their friends. Maybe they overheard someone say my name, but yeah, that's going pretty okay. I still have to respond to my birth name a lot, and I mean, what can you do? Definitely in college, I'm trying my best. I will stop being such an anxious little fuck and just tell my professors or anyone that I meet out in the real world that my name is Saturn. It's going pretty well when I meet new people. I'm just like, hey, I'm Saturn. And they're like, what? Is that your real name? And I'm like, yes, that, 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 that's the only name I will respond to unless it's like a teacher right now or my mom. But besides that, I really don't want to hear my birth name like ever. Looking back at all the videos that I've done on this channel, I realized that <laughs> every time I posted a video, my hair would be a different color. And right now, I'm really digging this blue. I feel so happy with it. It looks good. And I'm growing out my side shave because, I don't know, I just I don't want it anymore. But I really want an undercut, but I know my mom wouldn't let me do that because she's going to be like, well, now you look super mega gay. And I'm like, Mom, that's the point. But she's just going to be like, no, I need my feminine daughter. And I'm just like, Mom, no. But, you know, probably when I move out, I'll try to get an undercut. And I'm probably going to stick with this color for a long time because I really love it. Like, it's my most favorite shade of any color that I've done before because I've done blue. Like, 
twice before but i just wasn't really feeling the shade but this is really nice and it covers up my roots really well like obviously you can tell that i have black hair but it, it just like goes with it really well so that's that's a good thing honestly not much has really changed since the last time i've made a video i haven't really gotten any gayer i'm really gay <laughs> but i mean i'm just a little boring schmuck and i don't do much so there's not much for me to update on except that uh the only thing that i do with my life right now is um play mystic messenger because i'm super gay <laughs> if you don't know what mystic messenger is it's a free phone app like it's free to download but you gotta pay for like the in-game currency and you have to pay to do like certain things i mean that's not important but anyways it's an otome game so i mean that literally translates from japanese to a uh, maiden game so it's for women but even though i'm a boy i really love guys and it's a really good story it's just you know about um it's really hard to explain basically some hacker texts you on your phone and you're like who is this and then they're like that doesn't matter go to this address and you're like I I'll go even though that would never happen in the real world like get a random text message hey go to this address I um but anyways you go to the address and then all of a sudden your phone starts freaking out and you get all these messages from these very very beautiful South Korean boys <laughs> and um yeah, you can just choose different uh, routes to see if you're going to fall in love with certain uh, characters that are in there, and it's fun. It's it's much more fun than I explained it, but yeah. <laughs> Anyways, that's that's all I do with my life. I play Mystic Messenger, and I fall in love with my four husbands and one wife. I love all of them so much, and I get really emotional because. There are a lot of sad things that happen, and I'm being a really big piss baby right now. <laughs> Don't look at me. Other than being super gay and playing Mystic Messenger every single day of my life, um, also with my queerness, I have been noticing that I'm feeling a lot more masculine, even though I'm not like presenting more masculine, I just feel more like a guy, and it's making me feel happy, and it's good. Uh, I think most of it has to do with this blue hair, and I know it sounds kind of weird because I am a feminine boy. I love to do makeup, paint my nails, wear feminine clothes, female clothes. I mean, it just doesn't matter. I'm okay with being feminine, but before, like, I recorded this video a couple weeks ago, well, months ago, I had red hair. And it was fine, it was all jolly good, but I wanted to get rid of it, so I was bleaching it, and it turned pink. And a lot of people liked the pink, and I liked it for a while, but it really made me feel extremely feminine. And I know, it's just like, what? Col colors don't have any gender, but I'm just, like, I like femininity, it's, it's great, but certain aspects of it I just don't like and it made me feel super girly and I know it's really petty but it just it, it made me upset having such pink hair finally it like faded out to this like whitish coppery like bleached hair and then I could finally put this blue over it and of course everyone's like associating blue with boy but that's not it I just I really like the color and it helps me feel more masculine. So yeah, that was a short update on my life. A little recap. I hate school. I'm super gay. Mystic Messenger is my entire life now. And my blue hair makes me a happy boy. Alright you guys, that's it for me this week. I love you all so much. Hope you guys have a great week and your favorite emo dad is blasting off. <laughs>